the third annual Hemp CBD and CBG trade show, as well as the Golden Grow Awards, celebrates the recent harvest, recognizes product excellence, and names the region's grower of the year. Amongst our farmers, we have those that are so experienced, they know how to judge the cultivars, the different strains of the hemp in a fair and equitable manner. And uh, we use the reliability of their, some of them, 10, 15 years experience in this, in this business. Organizer of the event, Mark Taylor, says the event puts emphasis on educating the industry and the public on quality of hemp flour. Our farmers have uh, have suffered greatly. They've suffered from all the issues that our community knows about, the water issues, uh, the little bugs issues, the legislation, legislative issues, and they've overcome that, many of them have, by now transitioning in some really beautiful products that, that they make. Aside from education and awards, local woman Sarah Wood was honored with a posthumous award following her battle with cancer and her positive experience and use of CBD. Her fight, um, I, I wish I would have got to know her, her fight was a fight of the, the strongest soldier, the, uh, the a real warrior. Sarah's father, Eric Wood, was in attendance, giving a speech about his daughter and accepting the newly founded Sarah Wood Person of the Year Award. Uh, Sarah is my daughter who passed away November 1st of 2020 uh, with a long battle with brain cancer, uh, longer than was ever expected and it was uh, out of the, the protocol for the standard of medicine. And I believe that was because of the positive effects and the medicinal value of cannabis and, and CBDs. Wood says receiving the award in her honor is a big deal and highlights the legacy she left. One of the things that Sarah said uh, that really struck us was that she said, will people remember me? How, how will people know who I am after I die? And, and hearing your daughter, first of all, say she's, she doesn't want to die, but think that she's going to be forgotten, that's what makes me emotional is that this is remembering her, this is making her name live on, and in a positive way. Both Taylor and Wood agree, hoping their advocating will help the public understand the medicinal benefits of cannabis. So proud that, um, that we can get the message out that our farmers are doing good because it's our farmers and small business farmers particularly, of which the co-op is trying to protect, that produce this wonderful product. It's come a long way. And then these people that are here, from, my, from what I've seen, they care about people and they care about healing and medicine. 